So about a few days later, like a week later, our job had a, I guess, collaboration with the city of Philadelphia, or, and they um, offered a night where all the employees could come down and, you know, get free drinks and food from these different restaurants on South Street, which was, a, a, you know, another attraction that draws a lot of visitors. So I was sitting there with another co-worker in one of the restaurants, you know, having a drink and, you know, just, you know, hanging out. And we were with other park rangers or other park employees. And um, my husband came in, who of course wasn't my husband at the time, but he came in and I had met him a few days previous. And he saw us and his, he just brightened up and he came over and he was like, can I join y'all? Y'all look like y'all having fun. So of course we were like, hey, sure, come on, uh, you know, you can hang. So he sat down and, you know, we um, ended up spending the rest of that evening together, um, again, with the other coworkers. Uh, but we were, again, touring that entire area. And so it was similar to that from that time on. Every day we were at work, he would just pop up places. So I would be working in a building and then all of a sudden the door would open. I'm waiting for some visitors to come in. Here comes Sakharan telling me that he just was in the, he was walking past the building, but he's now coming in to talk to me. So we would talk each time. And so eventually I was like, hey, we should go, you know, on our lunch break, we should go ahead and have lunch. So we went out to lunch a few times and had lunch. And we continued to bump into each other every day for probably about two or three weeks, maybe, maybe a month. And so, you know, I was ran into him one day and I was taught, asking him how he was and he said he was okay, but his birthday was coming up or it just passed and he didn't really do anything. So he was kind of, you know, a little down about it. I was like, oh, that's, you know, that's, that's sad. And so I said, maybe we could do something one day. And, you know, I thought about it later that day. So I picked him up a card and I gave it to him like the next day and you know, he seemed really appreciative of the card, but it was just a nice gesture because he said that he hadn't done anything. So this one night I was sitting at home and I was just like, hmm, I wanna do something. So I remembered that when he came to visit me this one time, he had wrote his name on this napkin and put his number on it and gave it to me. Like, here, call me sometime. So I, um, I called him. And I asked him what, was, what he was doing, and he was like, you know, he was chilling. I was like, oh, well, maybe we can hook up. He had something to do that night, but he, we planned to do something another day. And, you know, from that point on, we kind of just were inseparable for the entire summer. Um, and the rest is history.